Okay, so we're at the um, Alaska Law Enforcement State Trooper uh, Museum. It has free admission. Right now we're looking for the entrance, which is right here. Uh, Today check. is day three. Oh yeah, day three of Anchorage. Uh, it's going to be a pretty busy day, and um, we'll go inside first and continue to film if we can. Post Museum, by the way, is free admission. Just make sure you check the hours. We wanted to go yesterday, but uh, ran out of time. Closed at four o'clock. Take a photo of the Bell Road from the Hudson Hornet, 1952. There we go. See how that turned out in a minute. But yeah, so today we have a pretty busy day. We'll be taking the. Uh, bus to the outskirts of town, well outside of downtown anyway, and uh, be checking out the St. Innocent Cathedral as well as the Alaska Heritage Museum and a few other things. We'll be dining at Simon and Seaforts tonight and if we feel like it we might go back to Hard Rock for a show. Alright, so we're just about done here at the museum. It's pretty cool. I have a pretty informative video. Um, yeah, so the Alaska State Troopers were created in 1941. Oh yeah, they do have a Utah one here. But, um, yeah, so. Uh, so yeah, if you get a chance, we highly recommend it. It's a pretty interesting place. You can spend about an hour here if you want. Uh, not too big, but... Like we said, I highly recommend it. Oh yeah, and I was saying Faust earlier, it's Faust. Okay, gonna go buy some uh, bus tickets now. Go explore the outer sections of uh, Anchorage. So we're in the bus stop right now, just waiting for our bus to come here. Our next bus will be here in around 20 minutes, 11 to 10 right now. Um, so we're taking bus 8 to, I don't know where we're going actually. We're going to the St. Innocent Russian Orthodox Cathedral. And, um, so here are our day pass. Right, so these are good until midnight, so we can use them as many times as we want. Uh, they're $5 each, so if you're going to be using the bus at least three times, which we will, then we're all good. Alright, we'll keep you guys updated. Our bus is here, we're taking number eight. We'll get on and let you guys know in the morning. So we're on the bus right now, that's what the bus looks like. We'll put them outside too. You guys can hear us. We um, our bus ride will be will be 30 minutes, around 30 minutes, and we're going to the Author Dos Church. And we'll keep you guys posted. So we're at the St. Innocent Russian Orthodox Cathedral. Um, it's named after St. Innocent Erkast yeah. <laughs> of the 18th century. Um, he's a saint. Um, we couldn't find a lot of information about this Orthodox, but it looks like a little Kremlin and we would really want to check it out. So we just got off the bus. Um, it took around 30 minutes and it went kind of like to a neighborhood road and then we are up here it's kind of like hidden and a little bit suburb area but it's like we're here now and it looks like we're in Russia which is really cool and you can see check out the snow on the floor it's a lot of yeah, snow it's a five feet in some places <laughs> yeah so but that's not like Maine right here. now go in and check it out um, see if we can we can bring you guys in yeah. there as well. hopefully we can go inside and they allow us to film or take photos so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so while we were uh, coming up here we found this little plaque. So it was constructed in 1993 and it was dedicated by the Patriarch, which is like the Pope of the Russian Orthodox Church. It was and built 
four months after I was born. So it's like 24 years. <laughs> okay, let's see how much I can get back. Try to go in through here. Adele got stuck. We're trying to find our way into the cathedral. Looks like it might be locked, so I don't think we can get in. But if we can't, that's okay. But we, I think we have to wait an hour before we can get into the next bus back to downtown. And then we'll take another bus to the Alaska Heritage Museum in the other direction. Having fun? Okay, um, it looks like that way's shorter, actually. Yeah. Okay, so we um, cannot get into the cathedral or chapel today. It said online they had a service at 9 and 1 at 5, um, but I guess in between it's closed. Adele's just taking a look around. You'll notice here is the path Adele originally tried to take, and here's the shoveled one that I found. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll go wait back at the bus stop. One more thing real quick, you'll notice that the Orthodox cross looks a little bit different than the uh, traditional cross. Um, it has, instead of the four points, it has eight. If I remember correctly, the one at the top is for the sign that read Enri, so um, Yez Yeshua Nazarene um, Regli Rex Judea or something. It's Greek or Latin, I apologize for which, and I don't remember, but I should, but it's basically Jesus of Nazareth, um, King of the Jews. Um, and then the bottom, I believe, is for where his feet were held. If I remember correctly. If I don't, I apologize. I'm not Russian Orthodox. Sorry, suddenly remembering all sorts of facts about rough and or Russian Orthodox churches. Um, for traditionally in Russian Orthodox churches, uh, you stand instead of sit. I uh, don't know if this one or does that or they do that in America, but traditionally in Russia that's how it's done. Also, the priest doesn't face the um, audience or the pews. The priest is facing away from them and preaching to God. So rather than preaching to the audience, you're preaching to God. So just a little something extra. Don't think I'll remember anything else, but um, yeah. Alright, uh, starting to snow now. Uh, checking out our final stop for the uh, day besides dinner tonight. Um, crossing the street here. Uh, going to the Alaska Heritage Museum. I think it's this building, but we'll check it out and we'll figure all that out. Somewhere on this road. Okay, so it's probably that building then. Right there. So we'll be crossing up here, and uh, this building's part of the Wells Fargo Bank, and it's supposed to be free, so we'll see um, what's up and what's inside, and it should be a good time. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm trying to speak up louder.
here we have a uh, mammoth tusk. And that pretty much concludes this video. We'll record some of our dinner and the view from some of the sea forms. One more full day to explore tomorrow. Be the start of the Iron Dog race, which we'll talk about more. And we will have one final day in which we can just go shopping and explore the airport. So we're at the Simon and Seafort um, restaurant. So this is our view. Uh, we have a reservation earlier. Um, I booked the reservation for today. Um, hopefully we can see the sunset. This is our view. We get to sit next to the window. So really awesome. And this is the view indoor. So we're gonna have our dinner here and hopefully we get to see sunset. So you can see the outside by dim it out. It's beautiful. We'll keep you guys updated. Our first meal, first course is um, the bread and then we order um, salad um, with um, <laughs> sterloin and also the seafood fettuccine. So we'll show you guys when the food comes here. So our foods is here. So that's my fettuccine and that's the salad, sterloin salad. Um, so this restaurant is really fancy, but it's not as expensive as um, the Captain Cook Hotel restaurant. So you can still see the nice view outside. And as you can see the view here. So yeah, it's snowing. So we can't see the sunset probably, but we'll try to see if we can get it. Um, but we'll eat our food and then um, we'll film a little bit more. So we just finished our dinner. Um, you can see it's a little bit colder now. Um, it's snowing. Um, we got a really nice view. Um, if you guys saw earlier, we sat next to the window. Um, dinner there was really, really good. Service was really nice. Um, everyone's really nice. Um, you would think that like, some high class restaurants would be like, I guess, nose snobbish. Snobbish, <laughs> yeah. But no, they're not like that. Especially the reception ladies are all really nice and they take our jacket and um, I put in my reservation earlier this morning. Um, I was just thinking that if we put in reservation we might have a chance to sit next to a window which I really wanted to so which is really lucky we got there at 440 something and then um, we got put next to the window and then we had our meal and everyone was really nice. Um, yeah, did not break our bank so really nice. Um, yeah, but I think that kind of concludes our day three today. We would be going to... Where are we going tomorrow? So tomorrow <laughs> we're going to be spending more time in the north of the city and down by the waterfront. We're also going to be at the uh, Iron Dog race, which starts tomorrow. We'll talk more about that and uh, the relationship with that and the Iditarod Dog race and Balto. But yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bonjour.